In this tutorial, we're going to create two box and whisker plots simultaneously on the same graph. The two data sets that we're going to use represent the number of home runs hit by Mark McGuire between the years 1986 and 1999, and the other data set is going to be the number of home runs hit by Sammy Sosa from 1989 to 1999. So two data sets, two box and whisker plots. We're going to examine the five number summary for the two plots and we're going to um, discuss which of the two data sets is more variable and the shape of the two data sets. So press the STAT key first to put the data into your calculator. STAT, edit, Okay, I already have my data in the calculator. I'm going to run through the, the uh, data values for you. Um, this L1 represents Mark McGuire's home run, number of home runs per year since 1986 to 1999. So we have 3, 49, 9, 9, 39, 52, 58, 70, 65, and that's it for Mark McGuire. For Sammy Sosa, we have data from 1989 to 1999, home runs per year, uh, 1, 3, 15, 10, 21, Thirty-three, twenty-five, thirty-six, forty, thirty-six, thirty-six, uh, sixty-six, sixty-three, and that's it for Sammy Sosa. Once your data is in a list, no need to sort it. We can go right to setting up the box and whisker plot. So we're going to go into our stat plot which is the same place we go whenever we want to graph a histogram or a scatter plot. Once you're here, um, you have three plots. Here I have three plots off. If you want to view one histogram, you're going to turn one plot on. Because I want to view two histograms simultaneously, I'm going to turn two plots on. So with one highlighted, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to highlight on, it's on, flashing on. I'm going to hit enter so it's now on, on. Okay, we're going to go down to type and we're going to move our right arrow key all the way down to the center, bottom row, the bottom. Uh, mm -hmm. There are two box and whisker plots here. The one that's to the left is a modified box and whisker plot that can show you outliers. That's not what you that's not what I'm going to use here. I'm going to use the regular box and whisker plot which is in the center. And hit enter on that. Go down to X list and make sure that the list that you're using for the first data set is is there. So I'm using L1 for the Mark McGuire data set. Okay. And now frequency should be set at 1. Go all the way up to the plot and then slide over to plot 2 and hit enter. Now we're going to turn on plot 2. Okay, It's off so right now we're going to hit enter and it will turn on. You're going to go slide down to type and go around all the, all the values and go um, all the types of graphs go to the center bottom one again hit enter on the box and whisker plot and here you want to specify your other list Okay, it's, there's an A there which indicates we're in alpha mode. Get out of alpha mode by pressing, pressing the alpha key once. Okay, and now I'm going to use the second and number two key to get the second list, L2. And frequency should also be set to one. Now that the data is in the list and the plots are both on, actually, if both plots are on, we would see both of them. Let's make sure all our plots are on. We'll hit stat, uh, second stat plot. Okay, and we see two of them on, one of them off. That's good. Now we're ready to graph it. 
So we're going to hit the zoom key, and either we can hit number 9, press number 9, or we can scroll down to number 9. We're going to go to the menu option called Zoom Stat, and hit enter on Zoom Stat. And here are the two box and whisker plots. The top one represents Mark McGuire's data, and the bottom one represents Sammy Sosa's data. If you hit the trace key, you see the cursor flashing in the center. That's the median of Mark McGuire's data set. Um, and at the bottom of the screen, we have the median equals 39. If we use the arrow left, we can get the entire five number summary. So we've got the minimum value is 3. Q1, which is the 25th percentile, is 22, which means that 25% of the data values fall below the value 22. We have our median, which is 39, also Q2. We have Q3, or the 75th percentile, is 52, which means that 75% of the data values lie below the number 52, and the maximum is 70. Now, if we use the down arrow, we can move to the Sammy Sosa box and whisker plot. Okay, and here we are on the maximum value of that box and whisker plot. We have 66, 38, 29, 9, and 1. So the five number summary is min 1, Q1 is 9, the median or Q2 is 29, the 75th percentile Q3 is 38, and the maximum is 66. The shape of the two distributions is different. You can see that the whiskers for the Mark McGuire plot are generally the same length. It's, it's, more, it's a very symmetrical shape distribution. Um, with Sammy Sosa's data, we see that the whisker on the left is a lot shorter than the whisker on the right. This means that um, there's a few large data values in the Sammy Sosa data set that is skewing the data out to the right, skewing the, the scatter, um, skewing the box and whisker plot towards the right. A longer whisker on the right would make the data skewed right. A longer whisker on the left would make, make the data skewed left. Also, the position of the median within the box is also a good indicator. Since it's shifted a little bit to the right, it's a good, in, it's a good hint that we have um, a data set that is skewed to the right. Um, the variability of each data set can be found by looking at the length of the box. So if we have a data value for Q3, and we compare it to the data value for Q1, and we get the difference, that difference indicates the kind of variability. So if we, if we compare that variability from one data set to the other, uh, the one with the greater variability, or rather the one with the greater difference, has the greater variability. So let's do that for Sammy Sosa, uh, for Mark McGuire. Okay, Q3 is 52. Q1 is 22. If we subtract those values, 52 minus 22 is 30. Uh, it's, this has a specific name. It's called the interquartile range. That value, 30, uh, is an indication of the type of variability that we have in the first data set. Now let's slide down and find the variability for the Sammy Sosa data. Q3 is 38. Q1 is 9. We subtract 38 minus 9 and we get 29. So the variability for the Sammy Sosa data set is 29. If we compare the Mark McGuire data set with the Sammy Sosa data set, the Mark McGuire data set has greater variability because the difference from Q3 to Q1 is greater. Not by a lot, but it is greater. So we say it has greater variability.